Hello boys and girls. Remember our last story when we learned how Joseph finally let his brothers know that it was him that was helping them get food in Egypt? And the brothers um, were, their hearts had changed and so Joseph would, forgave them and he was so excited at the possibility of seeing his father. So he sent them back to their land with bags full of grain and um, food and when the brothers arrived back to Canaan with all of those bags full of food, they knew that they now had to let their father know that Jacob was alive. And remember, all these years, they told their father that Jacob was dead. And now they had to confess and tell the truth. But they were very, very happy to be able to go up to their father and say, Father, guess what? Jo Joseph is alive. He's not dead after all. And not only that, but he is in charge of passing the food out in Egypt. And he has blessed us so much and we have all of this grain and we've, we've been saved. We're not gonna starve after all. And on top of that, Father, Joseph has invited us to go to see him in Egypt, to, be, to live there until this famine is over. So, oh my goodness, Jacob thought was so pleased and blessed and he couldn't believe it. He thought it was impossible that by any chance Joseph could be alive. But the brothers explained the whole story. They finally confessed the truth and uh, told him all about what had happened. And you know what? Jacob forgave them and he said, it is enough to bring joy to my heart to know that my son Joseph is alive. So everyone packed up, they packed up their tent and all of their belongings, and they prepared for the journey to go to Egypt. So they were going to move all of their people, all of their belongings to Egypt. And that was quite a long journey. And they had their wives and their children with them and all of their belongings packed up in the, you know, the carts with the, the ox, oxen. And they were headed out to Egypt. Well, <clears throat> I'm sure that uh, Joseph was getting very excited about the, uh, the possibility of his family coming. And when he heard the news that this family was coming from Canaan, he was so excited he jumped on his chariot and rushed out to meet his family. And so <clears throat> Joseph's servant there was helped him <laughs> with his chariot and he was so happy to see finally, after all these years, to see his father. Oh, what a dream come true. And Jacob was so happy and he was so excited to see Joseph that he just hugged him and he cried out and he said, I can die a happy man now. My son is alive. And he was so, so happy to be able to finally see Joseph and they stood face to face. Oh my goodness. Well, Joseph took five of his brothers to go see Pharaoh, to meet that Pharaoh. And Pharaoh asked him, what is your occupation? And they replied, we're shepherds, just like our ancestors. And they said, we've accepted your invitation to come live here in Egypt. And there, because there's not enough flocks, uh, or not enough pasture in Canaan for our flocks because of this famine. And so we request permission to live in the land of Goshen. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, you can choose anywhere you like for your family to live. And if any of them are specially skilled, let them take care of my sheep as well. And Jacob had blessed Pharaoh as well by um, ingratitude. Well, Jacob and his family lived happily in Egypt for many years. And he was getting to be very old and he thought maybe he was going to die when he first got there but he lived 17 more years there in egypt but when it came time for jacob to to die he was a very old man joseph brought his two sons to jacob their names were manasseh and ephraim and manasseh was older than ephraim but god chose to bless ephraim with a special blessing and jacob said both of their, your sons will be great but Ephraim will be the greater. And then Jacob asked all of his other sons to come to him, and he blessed them all. 
And he said, you must bury me with my fathers. Take me back to Canaan where Isaac is buried and where Abraham is buried. And they promised to do that because there was a special burial place there in Canaan. And then Jacob died. So after several days of grieving, Joseph went to Pharaoh's court and asked if he could please take his father back to their land to be buried. And Pharaoh gave his permission. So Joseph and his brothers um, packed up the carts and began that long, sad journey to go bury their father. Well, when they reached the cave at Machpelah, where Abraham and Isaac were buried, Joseph and his brothers buried Jacob, or Joseph, yeah, buried Jacob right there with them. So we, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were all buried in Canaan in the same cave. Well, now that their father was dead, Joseph's other brothers were a little bit nervous. I think they thought that maybe because of their father being alive, Joseph was being kind to them just for his, their father's sake. But maybe after he was dead, Joseph would be angry with them for what had happened all those years ago. And so they thought maybe he's gonna pay us back. So they sent him a message. And in the message they said, before he died, your father instructed us to tell you to forgive us for the great evil we did for you. And we beg you to forgive us. Well, Joseph had already forgiven them. And Joseph came to his brothers and he says, of course I forgive you. What God, or what you had meant for evil, God turned out to be good. Because of what happened to me, you were all saved. God worked it all out for good. And he says, don't worry, I will continue taking care of you and your children. And I have forgiven you. Well, Joseph and his brothers stayed in the land of Egypt in Goshen for many, many years. But Joseph remembered that someday God was going to promise that they would go back to Canaan land. And they would be back at the home where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were buried. But, you know, we're going to find out how many years were they going to have to live in Egypt? We'll find that out next. But even though many things had happened, bad things happened to Joseph, God blessed Joseph. Joseph always trusted God. He never disobeyed. We don't have any record in the Bible of Joseph ever sinning, which is amazing. But he trusted God always, and God blessed him. And God turned all those events that seemed to be bad into good. And you know, God can do that for us too. When we obey him, we trust him, he will take all those things and turn them to good for us too. And Joseph and his brothers learned that if we trust God to take care of us, then we can be friends with all the people, no matter what they've done to us. Even if someone does us wrong, like Jake, jo Joseph's brothers did to him, he still was kind back and he trusted God to work out all the details. So let's remember to trust God every day, just like Joseph did.